Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the new Hyundai Ioniq 38 kilowatt hour battery and I'm gonna do my range, consumption, best speed, including charging uh, with this car now. And my, my plan was to do, to start with 50% and I drove like crazy here at 90% when I started at work and I drove 180, <laughs> even though it does, uh, should be a limit of 165, but it worked and I'm still at 52. <laughs> I have the air conditioning running right now. It's 22 degrees, maybe even warmer, so it's nice. I want to have the climate off when I drive and I will do those tests uh, with 90 kilometers an hour, GPS 110 and 130. And I already noticed GPS speed is three to four kilometers lower than what it shows on the speedometer. But let's look at the car. Isn't this a beautiful car? Nobody blocked the energy charges today. I'm at the same spot as where I was with the E-Up. Beautiful car. It's so dirty. <laughs> Without nothing. It's just the stupid tree stuff. So I have the air conditioning blasting at me. It takes one kilowatt for, for the air conditioning and one kilowatt for the fan. It's a lot for a fan, eh? Uh, and the fan is not even on full, but I want to cool the car. Uh, a bit before I go so I don't need any climate on the drive because climate is so uh, everybody's doing it different and so I think for a consumption test climate should not be in there some people are warm enough with 20 I like 23 in the winter I don't want that and I also want to wait till the battery goes down to 51% where's that switch and then I know okay I'm not 51 and a half 50 two and a half so I can see it's 51 now and then I will go and drive I already reset my uh, accumulated info it's only one trip knowing look at it 800 watts for the climate and almost a kilowatt for the fan and I'm reset do the first with 90 kilometers an hour so 93 or 94 gps speed now i have of course i have to look how it is with the truck situation if the trucks are going faster or slower than me I will go that speed and huh it doesn't show uh, average speed though here but we can calculate that with the time and the kilometers 60 kilometer round I am on my way, I used a different strategy, so I charged to 53%, I put it on the Ionity charger, and when, just when it switched to 53%, I unplugged, and now I'm driving, driving with cruise control, 94 kilometers an hour, and I should have used maybe uh, no distance, so no adaptive cruise control, because I'm already getting closer to the truck there, and we'll see if I pass the one that truck or not I don't know yet um, I have the climate on but on a very low speed I should put it a bit more that's okay but no AC on so the temperature here is for nothing and consumption is of course low right now it's always downhill and then it will go up a bit and you can see the consumption of all the systems is around 200 watt lights are off as well 170 watts for 760 for the instrument glass. Oh my god, look at the fingerprints. Yeah, nice. That's disgusting. <laughs> just passed my turning point consumption right now is 9.9 .9. that's amazing and it looks like that because I always see here at the number I always see around 9 kilowatt for driving and I'm only taking 200 watts for the fan it's hot 23 25 I've even seen 25 degrees so far almost 30 kilometers and it's another 30 to the charger again and then I will charge to my starting point 
that was 53%, and then we'll see how long it took. And 36%, 10.4. Well, let's hope it all works. It took us, can you see that, 42 and a half minutes, so 42 to get here, but then plug in, identify, get out of car parking and everything. I'm sure it's two, three minutes communicating with the car, 36%, like I said. Let's see what voltage we have, 321, well, it goes up. Can you see? Yeah, it's always bright where I am, huh? 44, 44 kilowatt. That's okay. 45 kilowatt. And thing says 46. Interesting. So one kilowatt loss, or maybe they see something different. And now look, it's a new software. It doesn't show the seconds anymore. Just minutes. I don't know, I like the seconds. Why not details? Not a problem to have this here. And as always, you can hear the... Ah, it's making a big noise, huh? It's nice and warm. Charging at 47 kilowatt. 140 amp at 340 volt, so this voltage will go up. Uh, uh, and amp maybe even goes already down, we'll see. Six minutes for four kilowatt hours, that's very nice. Oh, I have to cool the car. That's why I <laughs> opened everything up. And uh, the car is cooling. Can you hear that? So, I don't even know what this is. What does it do? But right now, under here, you can hear a fan. The car is cooling the battery. We're already at 52%, only 1% more in 52 minutes. So that's now, right now, way faster than the E-Up, of course. See when it says 53. Can I stop? 53, there we are, in 52 and a half minutes. That's seven and a half minutes faster than the E-Up. And do the same thing now with 110 kilometers an hour. Those were my stats in 10 minutes, 7.4 kilowatt hours. This is now the second test at 110 kilometers an hour, GPS speed. So this is 114 on the speedometer right now. And consumption goes down, but it's going also a bit downhill. We're in eco mode, uh, air conditioning is off, a fan is on four, and it takes 200, 170, 180 watts. So that's okay. You do the same 60 kilometers. I didn't even if I forgot how was the how was the accuracy of the, the, the trip? Was it 60 kilometers? Google Maps says exactly 60 for that trip. Almost there for the second 110 kilometer run. Well, 33%. And get out of time. 35 minutes to do the drive and we are at, come on, go start, there we are, 33%, see how it goes up to the 47 kilowatt as before, 43, huh, so the highest charging speed is later? Do you guys even know how I'm suffering for you to give you good results? You had the climate on in there, it's 25 degrees and told in the sun. I was sweating like crazy, it's so hot, that's why I have everything open now, <laughs> so the car cools down a bit. But I don't want to use climate for this 60 kilometer run, uh, just to get okay numbers. <laughs> I'm suffering for you, yeah! All right. 47 kilowatt charging at 39%, very nice. 52%, almost done. Do it like this, you guys can see it better. Charging at 43 kilowatt. 53. 
So that's five minutes faster than with 90 kilometers an hour. That's good. Let's try this with 130. Just turned around. So far 16.4. Before the turnaround it was 16.6, but then with regen slowing down and then with acceleration it's almost at the same number. That's nice. Again, still no nothing for climate the same way. I listened to a bit of music, uh, but the power consumption didn't change. So it's okay. I didn't do it loud. My stats 29%, 16.3. Of course, it was nice and fast. 31 minutes. Yeah, I would say it always takes a minute and a half. At least now, identification worked right away. So like one second. But when you plug in until it starts charging now, 29%, 317 volt. Oh, it goes up. So the drive was good. I uh, had to stop or slow down for three trucks, I think. So slow down to 95, 100 and then speed up again. Well, but, but most of the time I could drive to 134, so I'm happy. Um, I have to rant a bit. <laughs> so there was such a jackass behind me. So I was passing a, a, a truck with 134 and there was a a gap where I could fit and he flashed me with his high beam so okay I went to the right so he can go on and there was a car behind him and the next truck there was also a gap but he stayed on the left <laughs> he didn't let the guy behind him by yeah nice people oh that was good 45 kilowatt I think 47 was the highest I've seen and maybe this is the highest but that shows me since 50 kilowatt chargers are limited to 125 amps that means it will not charge this high on a normal charger so on a triple charger that it's so warm that the those things here opened by themselves cool never seen that before huh battery must be warm And there we have it, 46 minutes when you drive 60 kilometers, including charging uh, with 134 on a speedometer, 130 GPS. It was a nice test. I charge a bit more, then I get home. I'm back at the Onanti charger because when I was editing the video, I saw that at 130 kilometers an hour, I was still faster than with 110. So I will try it now with 140. It's, I don't know, nine days later, <laughs> 17 degrees outside. We'll see, do it with 140. Right now, charging speed is very low. Maybe the battery is cold, S but it's not too cold, 10 degrees or something. Um, I will drive with 140 kilometers my 60 round and then charge. And uh, now I'm charging to 53% again. Let's keep it the same way. I'm on my way again, now at 145 kilometers an hour and I even have LKA and LFA on. I tried it on the way here, on the highway it works okay. I stopped as always, 53% and the weirdest thing happened when I was unplugging and putting the plug back into the on-air charger, the charger said out of service and was red then, so I will use a different charger when I go back. The other three worked. Uh, climate is off, lights are off, uh, USB is all disconnected, Bluetooth is disconnected. As always, I noticed when you set the cruise control to a normal cruise control, not adaptive, then LFA doesn't work. Now I know the difference. LKA, so keep, is the one that does the ping pong and LFA keeps you in the middle. So the better one. The other one is just safety and doesn't work. Uh, consumption 22.7 and I can see that the real-time consumption is pretty high at 145. We'll go, but of course my round is done in no time. 21%. We did this in a good time. I was here with 28 minutes. <laughs> 
Charging starts. What do we get? Come on. Focus. Ooh, that's good, 42 kilowatt. As you see again, <laughs> I'm sweating. 17 degrees today, but very sunny, so the car was warm. Uh, I could drive to 145 all the time, except for, I think, two kilometers at the end. Uh, uh, before I turn around, there's a 120 zone, and I drove 130 there. Because with GPS speed and everything, it's fine. And now the charger is back online again. I don't know why, but at this percentage on the hypercharger somewhere else, I got 49 kilowatt. I don't know why it's only 40, and it was 45 before, but it went down. And when I did my charge test, it went to 49 up to 55% and then it went down. So I don't know why that is. I mean, battery is cooling. I can hear a fan, the car is cooling the battery. It can't be that hot that it will slow down charging. We are at 46 minutes, but not even in 50%. We still have to charge 3%, maybe three and a half now. Not exactly three. So this is what we know. It's not faster than 130. But again, it's not charging. Maybe this was the other charger. I have to look back if uh, the Anity charger never charged above this. But I think with the Anity I saw 47. 53%, one and a half minutes slower than with 130. So don't go faster than 130 if you want to get to your destination as fast as possible. <laughs> but that's it. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.